Oh, again. Consuming passions is about food and making food fun to prepare using good ingredients, and the key is simplicity. From one basic recipe can spring a variety of dishes, like the bread we looked at before. That same bread dough can be used for many things, including pizzas. And pizzas needn't be confined to the savoury variety. In Italy, a favourite is a sweet dessert pizza, schiacciata. It's made with these. Grapes. It's true. A simple combination of grapes and bread dough to make a tasty, inexpensive dessert. Here's how. The basic dough is just a simple combination of flour, yeast, a little salt and oil, water, well mixed, and then kneaded, which is where we get some exercise. Apart from the bread dough, you'll need brown sugar and grapes. Any grapes will do. I tend to use red and white grapes together for visual impact. Wash them and mix them up with some raw sugar. I use them whole, seeds included, because I don't mind the crunchiness. But if you prefer, you can use the seedless variety or get a friend to seed them for you. Mix well and put to one side. You'll need to prepare a pizza tray or similar. I just smear it with a little light olive oil. Once oiled, we make a surface covering of plain flour and begin work on the dough. This has been proving for about an hour. It's ready to be bashed into shape, or rather two shapes, for our pizza sandwich. We just need the air that has risen and cause the dough to rise. Cut it in two start to make our first shape. This will only need to be a rough circle. Rough enough is good enough. Then put the dough onto the pizza pan, folding in the edges. See how rough that is? Doesn't matter at all. And then I start putting in the grapes, spreading them around a bit. Leaving space in between the grapes for a reason you'll soon see. And I sprinkle a little brown sugar on the top. And we come to our second piece of dough, which in effect will be making a grape sandwich Seal the edges, just press them together. And press the dough around the grapes that are already there. And now I'll put on a second layer. These grapes will fall into those little crevices, little valleys. Doesn't that look wonderful? And just a little more sugar. And it's into the oven, hot oven, 220 degrees Celsius for about 45 minutes. While that's cooking, time to make the perfect accompaniment to schiacciata, a little ricotta delight. A little ricotta cheese, which is a low fat cheese. with a few chopped mixed nuts. And some Australian honey. I like red gum for this. It's light, low in fat and tastes superb. When you smell the yeasty, grapey aromas coming from your oven, it's your schiacciata telling you it's ready just remains to take it out and serve. It smells every bit as good as it looks. The grapes have caramelized with the sugar on top and juicy grapes underneath. From Italy, schiacciata served with a little ricotta delight. Absolutely perfect. 
To complete the picture, a little Simeon Sauterne style to go with this beautiful dessert from Consuming Passions, Bon Appetit.